Good morning, friends. I'm Reverend Carla Leitner, part of the fabulous ministerial team at Unity San Diego. And I got into work today after taking a few days off and found that our air conditioning is not working on the sixth floor of the tower. So they can't get in till tomorrow to look at it. So I figured I'd do the prayer a little bit early today. So I hope you don't mind. You can tune in at any time. Also, don't forget that today at 5 o'clock, you can tune in at Unity Worldwide Ministries World Day of Prayer. And then tomorrow, we start a fabulous program here at Unity San Diego with, along with Unity Church of El Cajon. We will be having our World Day of Prayer celebration. Plan on being here about 8 or so in the morning for so that you're ready to begin the program at 9. So if you, start, if you come a little bit early, you can uh, watch and see our beautiful setup. We're going to have Terry Wilder with gongs. We're going to have um, a lot of different stations, uh, Bring Bull Station, different things that we can actually do. We'll pray. We'll come back after lunch then and go over the questions from Unity Worldwide Ministries. It's going to be a fabulous day. So let's just take a moment today to talk about joy. Hope to see you tomorrow. Nothing will keep me from my joy, and I am the joy of God. You know, when we think about being a spiritual being, and when we think about joy, how does it make you feel? For me, joy is like this encompassing, like, oh, I can feel it from the top of my head to the bottom of my toes. It's like, it's all aspects of my being. I just have this overwhelming feeling. It's kind of like um, if somebody you're proud of or, you're, or, or one of your kids performs at school and you cry those happy tears of pride and joy. That to me is what joy feels like. It just, it touches my, me physically because I get this rush it, it touches me emotionally because I get these happy tears. It just really, really lifts my spirit. And, you know, there's so many things to find joy in. I can find joy in my health. I can find joy in happiness, joy in friends. How many friends do we have? Joy in just life. When we look for joy, we find it. We know the universe brings to us that which we focus upon. So when we look for things to be joyous about, what happens? We get full of joy. The scripture today is from Psalm 30 to 11. It says, be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Shout for joy. What things do you have in your life that you can be joyous and happy about? When we think about our lives, for me anyways, and I think about the that, it's not a straight line, it's not all joy, it's like up and down, up and down. And I think about those times that were joyful. And I think about how can I magnify and get more joy in my life. And it makes me think of enthusiasm. And enthusiasm comes from two Greek words, en, which is in, and theos, which is God. So where does my enthusiasm and joy come? In God, when I'm in God, when I allow myself to be in spirit, when I make God the most important thing or the most important aspect, I find that joy in my roots in the God of my understanding. It doesn't matter if things shift or change, or things go from good to not so good, or great to challenging. Because if I have that spiritual root, if I have my roots in the joy of God, if I'm in theos, or I'm in God, and I have that enthusiasm in joy of spirit, nothing can take me away from that joyful, faith-filled life, can it? Well, let's take a moment, friends, to just, and I apologize, I didn't turn my phone off. I'm going to turn it right now. There we go. Thank you, friends. 
let's just take a breath again. Nothing is going to keep joy from me. Nothing will keep my joy away. That's kind of like the denial. Nothing will keep joy away from me. I am the joy of God. Nothing will keep joy from me. Nothing will keep my joy from me. I am the joy of God. Let's take a moment just to get into the silence and feel that. I get excited when I think of joy. I get excited because it just makes me so happy. And when I think about the enthusiasm of living the spiritual life, of knowing that I'm the spiritual being, that it is in God that I find my enthusiasm and my joy. That hole in my stomach that I was always looking to fill was my God hole. And so I'm looking for that enthusiasm, that joy of God. Let's breathe in and release. Breathe in again, oh, and let go with an all. Knowing that we are in this safe and sacred space whenever we are here together, whenever you come into a space of prayer and meditation, it's a sacred space, isn't it? Just breathe in, let go. I am the joy of God. I am the joy of God. I am enthusiastically the joy of God. I am the joy of God. As I focus on these words, it centers me and it grounds me to know that I am a spiritual being here having this human experience. And I am here to express, express love, express joy, harmony and connection. I'm here to be the change I wish to see. I am the joy of God. Let's focus on that mantra. I am the joy of God in the silence. joy of God. I am the joy of God. I am the joy of God that allows spirit to express in, as, and through me in lovely individual ways. And I say thank you, thank you, thank you God, and so it is. Amen. Let's take a breath, friends. Oh, release. Take one more breath and just let that go. And open your eyes as you feel ready to move so to do so. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. Have a happy and joy-filled day. Thank you. Namaste.